So valid parenthesis question number 20 from lead code and if a parenthesis called valid it means you can close and I mean open and close the parenthesis. So your case number one is this guy your case number two is let's say your parenthesis are like this then this is your string and they are correct parenthesis and case three this is also a correct parenthesis so this is round bracket don't confuse with anything else but this is not a correct parenthesis string so your case four is not so you're supposed to return true in case of correct parenthesis string which is this this and this and here this string is not containing the correct parenthesis order or valid parenthesis order then you'll return false here and i'll give you one more case so if this is the case then this is also a correct parenthesis and this is also correct parenthesis this is also correct parenthesis but this is not correct parenthesis okay now you might have got the idea by now so pause the video take the pen and paper maybe you just go in your mind palace and start thinking like how would you solve this and then come back and just validate your answer so as you would have already guessed by now by looking at this case that we are going to use stack so let's suppose this is the string okay so in stack let's draw a stack here you push this and before pushing you just check that is this a closing bracket no it is not you just put the opening bracket don't worry about the opening brackets then you move your pointer here you check is this a closing bracket yes it is then the correct opening bracket is already at the top of this stack if that is the case then just pop it out and you just keep doing this let's say you was having this string oh no wait a minute Ta -da -da -da. maybe this string and we are going to start from here so obviously this is opening bracket so you don't worry you just push it inside this this is also opening bracket you just push it inside this the moment you encountered closing bracket you have to check the corresponding opening bracket is already there if it is there pop it out then you move ahead then you encountered closing bracket yes it is you just check the corresponding opening bracket is present on the top of the stack yes it is pop it out the moment you hit the end character in the string and your stack is still zero it means your string is a correct or valid parenthesis cool right let's code it so this is your solution here let's take a stack and loop over the string and just check these three mainly these three conditions this is for the first time because first you have to have some data in the stack so in the beginning your stack would be empty so i'm just checking that and if it is empty i'll just push the first character and continue otherwise we'll always check if your current pointer is pointing at some opening bracket see sorry closing bracket and your stacks top is the corresponding opening bracket if that's the case you just pop out and continue otherwise if these three conditions are not met then push the data into the stack i mean push the character into the stack and once you are done traversing the whole string in the end you check if you still have some data in the stack meaning that parenthesis was not valid so you just return zero otherwise return one cool right so the complexity is so the complexity is order of n because you have to traverse all the characters like the entire string obviously and that too only once so interesting right yeah so thanks for watching guys bye bye take care i'll see you in the next videos